Hey everybody, Jim McLaren here, and I have a quick tip that I'd like to share with you today. It concerns integrating something like your iPad into a normal hardware rig for a keyboard player. Uh, I play keyboards for the band in Cura, and uh, I have a rig centered around uh, a MacBook Pro that's running Apple MainStage. And um, what I do is I will run my iPad inside MainStage and have it integrate with all of my other patches in there. All right. Here's the setup. I'm using my Axiom 61, and that is USB MIDI into the MacBook Pro, which will be running main stage in just a second. Now, main stage is running through my MacBook Pro into this Firebox, which is just using an interface instead of the headphone jack. It's just a little bit of a nicer sound, and it gives me some more options, such as MIDI. Back here, a little bit murky back here, but this is coming from the back of the Firebox. And this is MIDI out, so this is sending MIDI out of the Mac, essentially. And that, if you trace that wire, is going into the iRig Pro, which is essentially the MIDI in for this iPad Air. And as of February 2014, the iPad Air is about as good as it gets for uh, processing power. Okay, so here's how it goes. Um, I am screen capturing my Mac right now so you can see what's going on in my main stage rig and I am videotaping my iPad display and I'm recording all of the audio from this uh, with another iPad running multi-track DAW uh, so that you can get some good sound quality hopefully. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with main stage and I've created just a test um, patch here and it's just a piano. <laughs> So um, that's pretty simple. So that might be some sound I've got in my, uh, in my set. Now the idea here is that I've got an iPad with all of these great sounds, but how do I, how do I use it? So uh, one of the things that somebody might think of is, is, well, let's just, you know, plug it into a MIDI keyboard and then let's also plug it into a mixer and then we have another keyboard on stage. But I don't like to use a lot of keyboards if I don't have to. So what I do is I'm going to go and add uh, normally we might add a, an instrument so that we add a piano or we might add an audio track if we wanted to add like a guitar coming in but I'm gonna add an external instrument and my MIDI keyboard is my Axiom now this is the cool thing MIDI output now I'm going to use the plug one Presonus Firebox because that's what's coming out to my iPad and I'm going to create that and you can see we've created external instrument 6 it's called it's green and if I play my keyboard now, what you're hearing is Thor. Thor mixed with the Steinway piano inside main stage. That's pretty cool. So what I've done here is I've made a couple of uh, test tracks here. So what we've what we just did is um, piano and wired MIDI. Now you can see I've also changed the layers here so that I've got um, the left hand side of the piano doing the Thor and the right hand side using the actual piano sound. Sounds like this. That's pretty awesome. Um, the other way you can do this, now I'm using a wired MIDI. Uh, you can use what's called Wi-Fi MIDI. Uh, I think it has another term, but for right now it's basically Wi-Fi MIDI. And the way you do it is you go into your audio MIDI setup. Um, I think there's other tutorials on exactly how to do this, but basically you add, uh, it has to be on the same network. So if you're doing this live, you may have to bring a little router with you in order to create a network. but for some reason, my iPad Air keeps showing up as on my iPad 2, probably because I kept restoring a backup for my iPad 2 every time I got new ones. I don't know. But you basically start a new session, you hit connect, and then this Wi-Fi channel now, instead of going into the Personas Firebox, you go into the Session 1 network. Now we're using wireless MIDI. 
And let's see what the, uh, this is the same kind of patch. Piano, Thor. Let's see what kind of latency we get if I hit them both together. The Wi-Fi MIDI is not as good as a cabled MIDI. Here, I'm going to go to the cabled MIDI patch right now and do the same test. Yeah, that's, that's the way to go. I mean, Wi-Fi MIDI is cool, but you can't live with that kind of latency. So, I've got uh, piano alone as well. Switch. Works pretty well. Now, here is the next logical step for this. I'm going to go back to Audio Bus. Now, as I said before, uh, an iPad with this sort of processing power should actually be able to do a couple of synths at the same time. So I've got Animog, ISM, uh, Arteria, ISM, and Propeller Head Thor. So here's what I'm deciding to do. Propeller Head Thor is going to be coming in MIDI channel 1. Alright, you probably can get what's going on now. Arteria ISM is coming on MIDI channel 2. Mr. Animog is coming in input channel 3. Now, at this point, you also have to make sure, of course, that everything is using the correct MIDI interface and, and all those little kinds of things. Um, okay, so at this point, I now create a new patch, and what I've done is I've actually added three of these external instruments, and each time I do it, I just changed the MIDI channel. So I've now got three external instruments, which I've named Thor, ISEM, and Animog. And just to make it a bit easier to hear the difference, because some of these are mono synths, Thor is on the bottom, ISEM is in the middle, and Animog is on top. Let's see if this works. So on the bottom, I've got Thor. There's ISEM. There's Animog. So, let's have some fun with this. I'm going to put iSEM's arpeggiator into hold so I don't have to do anything about it. And I'm just going to push it. There you go. I suppose I could add as many instruments as my iPad could actually handle. I don't know. You could try... Oh, at the same... Yeah, I can't add anymore. So, there you go. Bring on Audio Bus 2 and state saving, because at this point I can now save groups of synthesizers. So imagine I've got Nlog and Animog in one, and then the next I just call up another setting, and I've got these three, and then I call up another setting, and I've got Sunriser. Um, you know, at this point, with this iPad sounds thing, I could duplicate this, and let's say I didn't want ISEM in this uh, batch. So I delete ISEM, and let's now add a, what are we going to add? Let's add something simple, like a B3 organ. So let's get a jazz organ in there. Now, of course, at this point, the jazz organ is going to overlap with the Animog on the top half. Which is kind of cool, I suppose. But uh, I don't want that. I'm going to go into the layer editor. Let's just drag it. I'm not having any luck with this. Dragging it. And there's the jazz organ. Very, very small range here. It's going to go right there. Now, Thor. And the 
coolest thing of all is that I can just go through patches. There's my eye sim. Now it's an organ. Pretty cool. Any questions? Just ask. Uh, whether it's how I did this video, how I recorded it, how you might integrate this, anything. Just let me know and we'll see you around.